Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can animate like Iman Gatsi. His edit style is viral now and we are going to focus on it for a few videos. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create this animation in Adobe After Effects. Before we start, please leave out a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the future content. Now, let's begin. Alright, so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So I have my main composition in here and I have a, a scroll composition in here which we are going to animate and lastly we have a businessman in here and this is the closest assets that i could find on the internet and we are going to use this for this video so i'm going to go towards the scroll composition and now let's animate this uh, rolling paper well as you see these uh, layers are separated so what i'm going to do first i'm going to parent these two size to the right side and same as the left sort of the i call them left up and left bottom so we have now a rig for our both uh, sides and then what i'm going to do now i'm gonna solo the paper uh, with the paper layer selected i'm gonna go towards the rectangle tool and i'm gonna draw a rectangle around it so sort of i'm going to draw a mask and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to go towards the mask path and then i'm going to set a keyframe i'm going to move towards one second and i'm going to set another keyframe so back to the first keyframe what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to select the right points and i'm going to push them towards the middle and then i'm going to select the left points and i'm going to push them towards right so we have a uh, a sort of a rolling unfolding paper animation so this is what we want great now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to select these keyframes and i'm going to push them a bit towards the middle and now i'm going to select the both scrolls and then i'm going to press p to reveal position and then i'm going to go towards one second again i'm going to set another keyframe and then i'm going to get back and i'm going to push the left one towards right and the right one towards the left something like this and then a few frames forward when it's about here i'm just gonna set a keyframe and then i'm gonna bring them back to its original position so now we have something like this great now as you see the easings are a bit Bad. so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna apply the standard easings and i'm gonna use the motion tools and let's set the uh, easings on 67 percent so let's watch great so here's the scroll but as you saw in the uh, reference video there wasn't sort of a glow effect around the um sort of i, I don't know what to call this like wooden Part of the scroll so we can achieve that pretty easy now what i love about after effect is that there are many ways to achieve uh, a one technique so in this video what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to select the top right and then i'm going to apply the tint effect and then i'm going to change one to a bluish color and then i'm going to set the other color to a uh, purple one so we can have something like this now i can use the deep glow effect but as you see since the illustrator layer has an a layer inside of it the deep glow effect will not work properly but don't worry we can achieve this effect still by using a drop shadow effect so i'm gonna apply the drop shadow effect and i'm gonna increase the opacity to 100 and nothing we can see let's just change the color well i'm just gonna make it a brighter shade for now and then if we increase the softness for example to 150 as you see we have some glow effect around our um, shape so i'm going to duplicate it one more time and this time i'm going to set it on 250 but also we can change the shade a bit more 
so as you see we have this effect now one thing you can do either you can either use the tint effect or gradient ramp effect it's really up to you and you can still use the layers styles to customize this further but we don't want to waste any more time on this design because i want to i want this video to be as short as possible so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna copy these um, effects and then i'm gonna uh, paste them for the other wooden parts as well and then i'm just gonna add another tint effect and this time i'm just gonna set it on a grayish color and now we can copy this effect as well and paste it for this scroll. So as you see, our main animation is ready in here. So let's just go back to our main composition and let's bring the scroll in here. And I'm gonna scale it uh, around here so it should be fine. And also I'm just gonna add a new solid. Let's press Ctrl plus Alt plus F to fit this uh, solid to background. I'm gonna call it background and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna add a gradient ramp effect we are going to change the color and let's set it on radio so it looks better and we can increase the borders now since the composition size is set on and um, 500 to 500 we can sort of increase it to get rid of these you know chunky edges that we have in here all right that looks nice now what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna zoom the scroll a bit okay that is good now on the next step what we are going to do is that i'm just going to bring the businessman now i want to flip it so to do that i'm going to right click on it in transform i'm just gonna select flip horizontal i'm gonna push it in here and let's just increase it a bit okay that seems good but we don't need it right now let's just hide it and now what we need to do is that we need to animate the camera for the first scene so to do that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to right click in empty space and i'm going to select camera now the settings is set on one node camera and the preset is set on 50 millimeters you can change it to 35 if you like that's okay because we don't need to animate much of the camera in this video so on the next step we need to turn these layers into 3d which i'm going to do it now now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to go towards the um, around like 50 frames I'm gonna press P to revoke position and then I'm just gonna move the camera forward to around like two seconds and I'm gonna increase it just like this. So now I'm just gonna apply the standard easings. Great. Now, as you saw in the reference video, there were like a map and some text animations, but we are going to ignore that for this video because as I have said earlier, we want this video to be as short as possible. Now, what we are going to do for the next step is that I'm just gonna create a new null object. And this null object is the camera controller. So I'm just gonna call it CC and I'm gonna parent the camera to the camera controller. And let's make sure that the, we set the camera on 3D as well. Now let's reveal the businessman image. Now what we are going to do is that on here, I'm gonna press P to reveal the position. I'm just gonna go towards the um, three seconds and nine frames for about like one seconds. And then I'm just gonna move this, I'm sorry, to the around here, should be fine. However, I'm just gonna place this around here. Let's just scale it a bit down. Okay, so now we will have something like this, which is good. And now let's apply the standard easings. But what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to press T to reveal the opacity and I'm gonna set the opacity on zero and then a few frames forward on here, I'm just gonna rebuild the image. So we have something like this. Let's extend it a bit. So this was the entire, a bit forward. Okay, that's nice. So this was the entire camera animation as you 
so it was really easy so now what we are going to do is that i'm just going to go back to the scroll composition i'm going to get the tint effect and then i'm going to paste it for the image and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to change the first color to uh, black and we can also set it on bluish color i think this looks better and either you can add the deep blue effect and set the radius to 250 or even less to get that effect that you want okay that's nice so until now we have covered everything but one thing we can do to even customize this further was the lines that um, sort of pumping up in here and that is simple we can go towards the pen tool and let's uh, the fill uh, right now is set on off which is what we want and we are going to sort of draw a path so make sure that the path is uh, sort of you know uh, just like a semicircle so we need to make it like an arch and this is really important and because it makes the animation looks better so that is good and then i'm gonna use the properties uh, to set the rounds uh, on the set the caps on round i'm sorry and then what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna rename this to line i'm gonna move, push it beneath the businessman and then i'm gonna navigate through the content in shape and in the stroke section i'm gonna open the taper and i'm just gonna increase the start length to make it like this great now what we are going to do is that we are going to add the deep blue effect to make it even better and now on the last step what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna add a trim path and trim path end so when it's about here we want to start so i'm just going to set the end on zero i'm going to set a keyframe and it's about three seconds and 10 frames so i'm just going to go around four uh, seconds and 10 frames and then i'm going to set the ending on 100 i'm going to move back around here i'm going to set a keyframe on start and a bit forward i'm just gonna set it on 100 as well so now i'm just gonna apply the standard easings and let's set the easings on 70 percent and as you see we have this line that we wanted now you can still add a bit more uh, camera animation to make this a bit better so we can just so a keyframe and still zoom it a bit in to have a nice you know animation if you like so here's the entire concept and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much i'm going to see you in the next video have fun